Hey guys, Nathan Duck River Honey. Today is honey extraction. Uh, this is, I've been doing this in fits and starts, just whenever I've got time to get supers pulled. But uh, I thought I would take a minute, make this a short video, maybe some tricks and tips on what I'm doing, why, and some different situations and things. My supers have been in here on stickers with uh, fans blowing through them for two days. It's 30% humidity in here. I've got a whole house dehumidifier in a very tight building. 86 degrees is what the air conditioner is set on and it's holding about that uh, with the insulation I've got in here now. So pretty dry honey. Uh, most of it's gonna be 17, 17 and a half percent. Some of the stuff that is uncapped will actually be 14 and a half to 16% because it's been dried so much. So I'm starting with uncapping. A lot of different situations on uncapping. Stuff like this, I don't run through the uncapper. I'll just roll that. And since I've got a load in the extractor already, move on to the next one. Leave that in the uncapping tank. That one's got enough on it that I'm gonna run it through the Simple Harmony Farms uncapper but since this side is built out low, it's probably not gonna uncap that very good. It actually did okay on that. I try to trim burr comb and excess wax while I'm going through. What I'm doing right now is actually something that I don't want to do. Uh, this is inefficient because I'm gonna have to handle each of these frames twice because this extractor is spinning right now. I'm uncapping and putting them in the uncapping tank. They sit here and drip until I'm done uncapping 20. And then I stop the extractor, unload the extractor and put these in. So I'm double handling all these frames. If I had two extractors, I wouldn't have to do that. I could just set the box up here, a uh, box of frames up here, uncap, put them straight into the extractor. When I get 20 in, I turn it on, go and load the second extractor, uncap straight into that one, fill it up, and then back to the first one. So two extractors would be quite a bit more efficient than what I'm doing here. That may be something I do for next year, we'll see. It's not been that bad of a process this year. What I'm doing here is you can see it didn't uncap great up here at the very top because that wasn't built out very far. So I just rolled the pin roller through there. Looks good. That didn't get unkept very well. I really like this Simple Harmony Farms uncapper on frames that are built out consistently. Uh, in nine frame honey supers, I think it will work great. In 10 framers, especially in a situation where I'm at, where you're trying to get a lot of comb drawn, it's not all drawn out the same and uh, it can struggle with that. So I'm, I have to use this pin roller quite a bit. I don't know if you can see this or not, but frames that have had brood in them that are backfilled with honey, it does not uncap them very well. Mm -hmm. 
As I pull frames out of the extractor, I go ahead and classify them. These are fully drawn. That one's a partial. I will re-wax this part here over the winter because these may have been in long enough that the bees have picked the wax off of it. And if that's happened, they won't draw this out next year. So I'll go over this with a brush and melted wax and re-wax it. So it makes sense to me to go ahead and, since I've got to rework these, I'll go ahead and classify this now into a box of partials. You can tell this frame here has had some brood in it. So I'll put this in a brood box and then run that through the freezer for 24 or 48 hours to kill any wax moth or hive beetle or larvae or anything that are in it. And then I'll either store it for the winter or get it on a hive that can, you know, take one. If I've, I've got a couple nukes that are still in two boxes, if I think I can get them to fill up three, I'll put this on uh, and just feed them and see if they'll store sugar syrup in here and get it capped before October. So the way my flow is going here is I brought supers in the indoors. They go to the drying area and then they come up here to get extracted, stored. When I've got good stacks here, they go out the man door, out the side. And that has worked pretty well so far. Um, I actually prefer having the uncapping tank in this orientation to the extractor. Uh, this particular extractor, I can load from this side or I can load it from this side unload either side as well so what i figured out is if i'm uncapping and going straight into the extractor i prefer to do that from this side and then unload from this side but if i'm taking frames out of the uncapping tank like this i actually prefer to load and unload from this side and what i envision if i get a second extractor is I'll just wheel this uncapping tank back and forth between the two, um, take a box and go straight to the extractor. And then I think that'll work really well um, with this flow. I'll, I'll have the extractors side by side, basically, with just a little bit of space between them. And I think that'll work pretty well. So this is a tale of two hive tools. I much prefer this one for working hives. I just sort of started out with it. I'm used to it. I like the way it works. But that one is a whole lot better for getting boxes that are stuck together unstuck. You can tell it's a lot narrower or sharper here at the end, more of a chisel point. And you can bump that with your palm and uh, It'll get boxes unstuck a lot easier than this one will. So I'm really using three types of uncappers. I'm using the Simple Harmony Farms, the pin roller. I did drill a couple of holes in here and put this little rack in here to hold things. I really like that, it's handy. And then when I get a frame that is built out real far on one side, I'm actually using an uncapping knife on these. Uh, that will even these frames up when I put them back in a box to go back in a honey super.
when I get close to needing a new bucket. I sure don't want this to overrun. I don't want to forget about it. So I'll go ahead and make the swap. And then I and then if I need to fill it up anymore, I'll do that from the uncapping tank. Then clean buckets go to storage. Buckets that need to be strained get strained. One last thing I'll tell you guys, I am changing the way I'm doing honey supers this next year based on my experience this year. So I've been trying to draw comb in honey supers for a couple of years now. And this year I ran 10 frame supers and I would take out the third frame in on each side and put in a couple of foundations. So foundation frame here and here and the rest of it would be fully drawn. And the thought of that was, well, the bees will start filling this up. They'll move into that super quick um, and start filling it up. When they get to that one, they'll just draw that out and keep going. Some of them they did, but most of them, they drew out this frame and this frame extra thick and either didn't draw this one or just barely drew it. And it was real thin. That makes it very hard to extract and they end up in my partial box because they're gonna have to be reworked next year. So I think next year what I'm gonna do is just make nine frame supers, which is what I want to get to eventually anyway. And then if I'm running foundation, I'll just put one bait frame, one drawn frame in it, in the center, and then just put nine undrawn frames. So I've had better luck on getting them to draw foundations if they're drawing an entire box of foundations. They, they just turn out more even and uh, nicer. So extracting is a lot of work. I've had a lot of work already I'm finishing up, but man, it's rewarding. This is like the payoff for all the work last fall and this spring, all of that, uh, getting hives ready for winter last fall and then all the spring work and swarm prevention, splitting and trying to keep hives from swarming and, adding honey supers and all this is this is the payoff for it so it's uh it's work but it's rewarding work and it's fun it really is it's fun guys i wish you all good harvests full supers and calm bees it's good times i appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.